Be sure to subscribe for more content. What's up, people? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel. And today we're going to be talking all about Luna Classic, where we stand right now, this 25% pump that just happened, and why we could be seeing a much larger pump. Now, of course, if these, now if these videos here on this channel helped you at all, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for me and the like button on this video. Without further ado, let's go let's talk about what we have seen first over the past 24 hours now 24 hours ago we were in this region here and we're in a bit of a scary region because as i pointed previously we saw this level here that we really didn't want to cross underneath so we're up around here at the moment we tested this level at 0 0.25 and let me just show you why that's a level we do not want to cross beneath uh if we zoom out here so basically we we like that level because of this Fibonacci here. It really coincides with this Fibonacci very well. So this is basically the Fib levels from the very first time it pumped at the start of September all the way to the top here at September the 8th. And basically this is the last Fib level. And if we had crossed below that substantially, then the next level that we could see some resistance, some consolidation at would be a complete retracement back down at 0 0.16. So, you know, a drop of 30, 40% to this previous, this Fib level that we were at here. So that's very undesirable. So if we couldn't hold that last Fib level, if we couldn't hold this yellow line that I've drawn here, then that would have been very bearish. We could have seen this price move down further. And that's what it kind of looked like happened yesterday. As you see, it came back up. We tested this gray line, which is a resistance, by the way. So, so this resistance had been tested at the top here, had been tested here. Uh, and it's been tested quite a few times in this region here. So established resistance here, only a short term one, but an established short term resistance here. And look like the price struggled to break through it. And initially it looked like we couldn't hold this 25 cent level. Things were looking very bearish as we dropped below this level. But there seemed to be enough buyer support at just below this 25 cent level to push the price back up. And once we crossed this resistance here, and thank goodness we did, then we saw this massive price action as we would expect with crossing a resistance and established resistance like this one uh, and what we saw yesterday was incredible we saw this nice pump here from the resistance of nearly 20 percent so if we caught the exact bottom down here that's a 25 percent pump in Luna Classic, which is really, really good in itself. If we had a spot trade even just from the bottom here to the top, then we would have been laughing, but that's now happened and now we're at this 28 cents region the highest, the highest point here at 30 cents tested this longer term resistance and as you saw before this longer term resistance came from all the way from september 8th down to about now so eight days in the making so for the lifespan of luna classic this is quite a long-term resistance and it's probably even more established look how many points we have along the way down where the price has come up to test it and when I say come up to test it, I mean the price jets up to this resistance here and then comes back down within the same candle. And this is on the 15 minute chart as well. So this isn't this isn't price action that you know comes up to this line and stays close to it. This is price action that really jets up and stops right where this line is drawn. And every single time it's been pretty accurate in the sense that the line is placed pretty much exactly where the price does a reversal so now we've seen this happen five times and it seems like the price is now getting to a point where it's really testing this resistance you know it's not just coming up now and then jetting back down to a new low it's really staying in this area now and it looks like a decision is going to be made soon if we got on the one hour chart to see if we can find a deadline i do think that we should see a deadline when this yellow line and this purple line cross here and that deadline would make it at 9 a.m or so utc tomorrow on 17th of september so the deadline should be within 24 hours of course anything can happen before this but what i do believe happens on the basis of what happened previously with this prior resistance here is that we could see another move up and now this if we take a look at the two main indicators so rsi and macd giving us some good signals on the 15 minute chart for luna classic here you can see that rsi goes beneath into the oversold region around this point here it does so here as well but if you bought in either zone here this would have been a buy from the rsi and with the macd you would have seen that uh, a better signal would have been on that second oversold region in the rsi as that's when the two lines cross on the macd 
both of them giving us a sell signal as well nearer the top here so good signals from the rsi and the macd at the moment there is no buy or sell signal from either one of them but what i do is that price tests this resistance a few more times as it is a long-standing resistance and if it does something like this then of course we see this rsi go down in a similar fashion as well so you probably see the rsi line do something like this maybe into the oversold zone maybe not and same with the macd going downhill like this probably doing a swoop like this at some point Point where the two lines cross once again down and so we'll look for price action like this for the rsi and macd to show some buy signals for us however i do think this will occur this is a long-standing resistance so it's going to be giving us some resistance and once all the sellers at this region are done selling then we should be able to see the price break through it and when we see the price break through it then i think but if it does break through at a certain point, then I want to set a price target at the next Fib level up. And that next Fib level up was around 32 cents, 33 cents. So somewhere around this region where if it breaks out here, for example, would be around 18%, 17% pump, which is very, very welcomed. What's also bullish is that it's a similar... It's a similar size to the pump that we saw earlier on when it broke through this resistance as well. So I do think we could be repeating this pattern here. Of course, as you see, I think we're in, just to draw parallels, I do think we're here right now on this bit. You can see that we're testing it. The price is getting closer to this resistance. There might be a drawdown. That's why I've drawn it like this, uh, because it kind of reflects what Luna Classic did in this region here. So you see that it dropped away from the resistance a little bit and then came back up. I think we could see something similar occur here. So maybe it will be a bit longer than what I've drawn here. Maybe it will get down to this yellow line here and then come back up. But I do think a similar price action will occur to how it reacted with the previous resistance line. Of course, that 1.2% burn tax is going to come within the next few days. Nothing has changed since the start of September, just more exchanges now. All the way from Binance to Huobi are accepting this 1.2% burn tax that will make Luna Classic a deflationary token. So, you know, given the one day time horizon on this, I do think FOMO is going to kick in. People are going to want to be in on this action. Coupled that with a very strong community that I constantly see on Twitter as well. And I do think that this price will be coming. I do think that this price action will be coming next. And of course, the 32 cents level is just the next fib up. If we can break that, then my next level was around 37 cents. Let me just confirm that. So 30, 37, 38 cents. Honestly, if we can smash through this Fibonacci, then we could be heading up to this one here at 38 cents, which would make this pump nearer 30 40 percent there so absolutely incredible and my my initial price target however is 32 cents and from there we will see what happens i will make another video if we do reach that level and of course guys if this price prediction is correct be sure to subscribe for this channel my last video prior to this one was predicting the price of ethereum and we got that correct so be sure to stay tuned whenever I make these videos. And of course, if you want these signals faster, then be sure to follow me as well on my trading view. All you need is a free account on trading view. And the link for this is in the description below. So if you click on that, you'll be able to follow me there. And obviously I post all my here before I'm able to make the videos on them for YouTube. So do follow me here. Otherwise guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Bullish for Luna Classic over the next day or two. Let me know in the comments below whether you are bullish or bearish on Luna Classic. Thank you so much for watching.